Yo, what is up, my Shadow Army? It's the Desire Shadow Critics back again with another Star Wars Vision anime video. I know some people are going to say, Shadow, I thought you said you're done with Star Wars. I am. But here's the thing Star Wars has a anime series called Star Wars Visions. So, technically, it is an anime, so I had to make videos that involve Star Wars Visions. For now on and I usually don't do this I really don't but I want to bring up some news Star Wars collect uh, Star Wars celebration will be happening next year in 2025 in April the 18th through the 20th and it will take place in Japan yes you heard me right Star Wars celebration in 2025 will be set place in Japan and April the 18th through the 20th. And they also, the first thing they announced was Star Wars Vision Volume 3. So we're getting third season next year. So basically, they, they also confirm and announce of nine studios that are going to be animated for each episode. So basically, we're getting nine episodes yet again. So, I wrote down the list of certain animators. Four of them are coming back. And five of them are new. Four of them that you guys may know. So, the first four, the returning animate animations. The first one is the animation studio that made The Duel. Second one, they animated The, the Village Bride. The third one, who animated uh, The Ninth Jedi. And the last one, who animated The Twins. So basically, they're bringing back those four old anime studios from the first season of Star Wars Visions. So, yeah, they're bringing those four back. And I wonder what kind of story they're going to do. If it's going to be different or the continuation for... Well, I want to say the duel because we already got the novel and the comic of it, so we don't need the continuation. But the Night Jedi, on the hand, I want that to be a continuation. If not, then I'm going to be such a disappointment, and they better make a fucking novel or a manga, mind you. Making a manga, I will be on board with that. Uh, the Village Bride, I feel like it was only one shot story and should it be that way the twins i guess see the potential to make a, a side story of that as well but i just don't feel like they would make a a second story of you know the second story arc of you know from the first season they would have done that in the second season but now they want to do completely different with different anime studios or other Studios that want to make anime in Japan. So yeah. So the next five new ones. Are going to be animated for episodes. For five, six, seven, and seven, eight, and nine. The first one is Animon. Yeah, Animon. Who animated the series called uh, Sandland. I never heard of it. I never watched it. And pretty much I'm not going to. Be interested in watching that, so not interested. Don't know much about them, don't know much what kind of anime they do, so I uh, got nothing else to say. The next one is David Productions, who you guys actually, actually know them who did, who done the uh, JoJo Bizarre Adventures and the Fire Force. So, yeah, they're gonna be involved with Star Wars Vision, so wonder what that look like. In the animation style of Fire Force or Jojo Bizarre Adventure animation style or something new. Who knows? We, we, we honestly do not know. They like to do something new of animations. And of course, number seven, you have a uh, uh, Polygon Pictures who has done the Godzilla animated shows, Tri uh, Legacy, of, uh, Legacy of Tron. A.K.A. Tron, the animated show. And, of course, the Clone Wars animated series that we all know and love. Okay. 
they might try to do something new animation, but if they actually are going to do a Star Wars Vision and the Clone Wars animation, that is that that doesn't exist in the the current universe, I'm gonna lose my shit. And now the last two, this one is a big one. Number eight, we have Studio Q. Yeah, they're bringing that one. You guys may already know them who has done Neon Genesis and Evangelion. They're bringing the old classic studio who has done a classic animation. Just imagine Star Wars in classic animation style. Ooh, imagine that. Even though they change along the way, but just imagine they go back to do old style animation in for Star Wars. That will be interested. That will be interested. And the last one is the studio called Wit. You guys may know them of Attack on Titan. Yeah, that animation studio. Oh. Just just imagine Star Wars and Attack on Titan animation style. But in Star Wars format. Just imagine. You know damn well they take a lot of time and energy to make it look good when it comes to Attack on Titan. What do you think Attack on Titan took so long to animate it because the budget, the CGI, and everything? They would pull some good animation fights for this version of Star Wars Visions. And that's basically it of the news that we got that four returning Star Wars, I mean, four returning uh, anime studios and five new ones are going to be involved. So, yeah, that that's going to be interested, especially the last two. I wonder what kind of animation they're going to go with and what kind of story they have in mind. Ooh, that's going to be a good one. That's definitely going to be a good one. So, and keep this in mind, it's coming in 2025. It might be late in summer, like the last time, or during at fall or winter. We honestly do not know. But they're pretty much going to give us the actual release date and the trailer for Star Wars Vision Volume 3 in, you know, Star Wars Celebration Day. So, yeah. That is that is something interesting. So, more Star Wars Visions content that will come in soon in the future. So, yeah. I, I literally got nothing else to say about this. That, um... I'm looking forward to it. And I hope Volume 3 became... Will become good than Volume 2. Because Volume 2 was like... Eh... There was something. There was like few episodes that you didn't like. I think it was like only three episodes. Yeah, there was three episodes I like in Volume Two, and four episodes I like in Volume One. And a whole Volume Three doesn't disappoint me, and have have a favorite episode. I, my my hope that I will have five or six favorite episodes in Volume Three. Hopefully, cross my fingers on that. When, whenever they gave us the actual release date and the trailer, so on and so forth. So yeah, I have nothing else to say. It's just I usually don't do news and updates of certain things like this, so I might as well just do one as just why the fuck not. So yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Links to my other channel, my social media will be down below in the description. Why you guys know Joe? Again, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Nil before Shadow Critias. I'll see you guys later, and may the force be with you always.